Hi everybody, Eric's with me. He's crabby, he hurt his neck. Um, we're just going for a quick walk, checking out this this park. I mean, we've been here a hundred times, but anyway, happy Saturday, or whatever day you're watching this. Happy day. Would you rather not do this, Eric? What was that? Huh. You're okay. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I need to work on that. here for a minute. Mm. Watch your step. <laughs> Sometimes there are ducks at this pond. I don't see any though. Oh wait, that looks like one over there. Oh no, that's not ducks. Those are those weird birds, the little uh, cranes. is choosing to separate from the group. Hi, Cranes! Hello, Goose friend! Are you chasing me? Are you going to be mean to me or are you going to be nice? You're so pretty! You're, uh uh, no. <laughs> no hissing. All right, we're going into Whataburger, so. That's that. So Molly with Mammoth Club said her, she thinks Whataburger is better than In-N-Out Burger. So we'll see. I've never had In-N-Out before, so. We'll have to go there when we go to California. Eric mm -hmm. got a patty melt. Eric's is good. Mine is cold and has a ton of mustard on it. And um, the cheese isn't melted. That's how cold it is. That was, that was pretty terrible. Eric tasted it and he thought it was terrible too. I tasted his, his was really good. And the fries were good, but the, I can't eat a lot of fries. So the burger was really, it was cold. It was very, it was drowned in mustard. Man, that's a bummer. We should have gone across the street to Epic Burger. 
<coughs> that was terrible. Um, for families of people in the Navy, they are these dependence cruises. If, if you know anyone in the Navy, you probably know what I'm talking about. And um, I remember going on a dependence cruise. I've been on several of them when I was little and that tasted kind of like the burger from the dependence cruise, except that the burger on the dependence cruise was better. Hi, Eric. Yeah. That one's a burger wasn't good. It was terrible. Mine was good. Eric's was good. That was usually, like completely opposite. Usually, it was it was opposite day because usually I like what I get if we go eat somewhere, and Eric doesn't like what he got. But I've always been a fan of the patty melt of what a burger, but not much else. Yeah, um, Molly is I wrong. Stick to that. <laughs> I haven't never eaten at In and Out Burger, but I'm gonna have to say Molly is wrong. They said In and Out Burger was better. <laughs> I mean, Whataburger was better than In-N-Out Burger. I don't know if I believe that because- Did they have In-N-Out Burger in Orlando? No. Mm -hmm. I've never, I don't think so. I don't think they I've never, fat I've never eaten at In-N-Out Burger, but I've seen videos of people eating at In-N-Out <laughs> Burger and it looked better than what my burger looked like. So I'm gonna assume they taste better too. But I don't know if you've eaten at both of them, let me know what you think. I like I like Bud's Giant Burger in Vallejo. <laughs> oh, really? Uh huh. That place was really good. I don't it, think it was really a chain. I think they had a few of them. Yeah. That was like North, Northern California. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. It was good. Tabby ruins. This stupid car is barrel assing up behind me. I'm gonna take my time. I wanna look at shit. I probably should have gone that way. But we'll get around here. Okay. This is Kingsley Plantation. We're gonna go look around it a little bit, but first we have to find a facility. Because I need to, uh, I had too much beverage, so I need a facil facility. Get, get out of my face, bug! It's flying all around my face. What's so interesting about my face? <laughs> well, well, baby. Okay, we found the restroom. Now we're gonna walk around a little bit. We're gonna check out this structure right here. What kind of animal do you think that is? Some kind of bird, probably. Um, I'd like to take one. I wanna see them. <laughs> Southern whooping crane. I love birds so much. I bet it's not that sharp. It's not, but it could do damage if you needed it to.
Ooh, look over here. What'd you say? Kaiser blade. Kaiser blade. Some people call it a Kaiser blade. I call it a sling blade. Is that all red eyes? All red eyes cabin? Mm -hmm. All red eye is the guy they say haunts this land. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll read that to you. Um, like when I close out this vlog, I'll, if I remember, I'll read it to you from Weird Florida. The book Weird Florida. Maybe we'll drive out this way one night when it's dark out so we can take you down that dark road when it's spooky. They got okra. They're, it looks like they're growing okra over here. It just hasn't plumped out of the ground yet. Oh, there he is. Look, it's a peacock. Mm. I've never seen a peacock up in a tree like that. I didn't know they flew. I don't know if you can see them from this side, but look how pretty. Look at his pretty colors. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Birdie, birdie, birdie. <laughs> birdie, birdie, birdie. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Hi, pretty. You got down by yourself? Oh, you're so pretty. You're so sassy. Hello. Hello. So pretty. Eric, isn't he beautiful? Eric said no. <laughs> You're so pretty. Look at how pretty you are. You're like a real life Kevin. You're like a real life Kevin. Oh, he ain't scared. Look at him. Oh. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye bye. Love I love you. See, there are some butterflies. I hate butterflies. You do. Nobody hates butterflies. That's nonsense. Stop it. I like the yellow ones. Huh. Are butterflies like Becoming butterflies or caterpillars becoming butterflies earlier this spring? It seems kind of early. Know. Seems a little early. Do, do they like to eat? Do they like to eat? <laughs> There's too many butterflies, Eric. They're starting to piss me off again. <laughs> <laughs> 
especially the yellow ones. Oh, they're so pretty, Eric. Did you see that really big, pretty uh, butterfly when we were when I was talking to the peacock? Yes. He was beautiful. He had blue and yellow and black. <laughs> this is a rough road. They need to get the mayor out here. <laughs> Donna Hicken? Yep. <laughs> is this, are we still? Donna Deacon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Donna Deacon. Remember when we saw Dan Hicken at um, Jason's Deli mm -hmm. in Jack's Beach? I remember when I saw Donna and Tim at the movie theater. They were standing right behind me. And I turned around and I told Kim, you taught my Sunday school class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Safari's not rough anymore. They said oh. it was too too hard on children, so they had to make mm -hmm. it less rough. What about old people? Children can handle rough. <laughs> yeah. There's another yellow one, Eric. Did you see it? You did rough those kids up a little bit. Did you see that yellow one? Uh -huh. Toughen them up. We were tough when we were little. <laughs> we had no choice. I told you about how I learned how to swim, right? Mm -hmm. Did I? Um, they just threw you in. Yeah, and told me yeah, they said swim Something or die. Like that. They threw me in the base <laughs> pool. We went to the base pool on the naval base. Mm -hmm. They threw me in the deep end. Told me to swim or die. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I guess this is my life now. <laughs> And my mom was like, oh my God, because my mom couldn't swim. <laughs> so she wasn't going to jump in and help me. So uh, I did it. I took swimming lessons when I was little. I mean, that's basically what they do when you take swimming lessons. <laughs> how else do you do it? <laughs> I, I took swimming lessons, but I already knew how to swim by the time we were in swimming lessons. They don't really throw you in. They just put you in. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I remember one time when they were doing, we had swimming class. see much at all I don't know if you can see right there is kind of a red roof that's like a red roof on top of a giant boot it's like the old woman who lived in the shoe kind of set up but I was hoping we'd be able to see more of it to show you if I could find the picture I'll insert it but I don't think I can find the picture I have of it but anyway that's it this used to be a bird sanctuary and the woman would rescue 
pelicans and all kinds of birds and stuff, but it's been closed permanently. But anyway, that's the roof, the roof of the old shoe. So, yay. Okay, so we're making sumac burgers. So here's my sumac. If you're not familiar with sumac, it's a little peppery, a little yummy. I'm gonna put a little bit of zatar in there too to add more herbiness. I know you got me salt, but I'll just put some of this in there. Then we're gonna add some garlic. Just very gently mix it all together. We don't want to over over massage the meat because then it'll just get weird and chewy. Oh, Marshall, talking about weird and chewy. Me and Eric stopped at Whataburger today, mm -hmm. and my burger was so disgusting. Mm -hmm. It was so disgusting. It was like cold, and um, the cheese was melted. Uh -huh. And it was like bathed in mustard. You gotta make your own burger to get that out of your head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure those seasonings get distributed because um, you don't want to bite into a chunk of burger with a whole bunch of sumac in it and be like, oh, mm -hmm. have a water burger experience, except. Instead of mustard, it's sumac. Okay. So now I'm gonna make my burger patties. This is a high fat content meat, so I'm gonna make my patties kind of big because they're gonna shrink as they cook. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Please. So I'm getting ready to end this vlog, but I told you earlier when we were at Kingsley Plantation that I was going to read from my book about old red eyes at Kingsley Plantation. <coughs> it's in this weird Florida book. I love this book. It's so fun, but it just, I know there's a weird book for most states, if not all of them, and then there's a weird USA or Weird US, and um, they're good books. Get a lot of information from them. But, um, so we're going to, I'm just gonna read to you about Old Red Eyes. I kinda know the story, but I'm just gonna read to you. It'll be better that way. Old Red Eyes of Kingsley Plantation Road. The Kingsley Plantation on St. George Island, that's where we were earlier today, northeast of Jacksonville has a strange past and according to legend, a wicked red-eyed spirit that has lingered around these parts for nearly two centuries. Zephaniah Kingsley established a historic plantation on St. George Island in 1813 for the purpose of growing cotton, sugarcane, citrus fruits, and corn. Over time, the planter became quite wealthy and eventually owned 
32,000 acres and more than 200 slaves working for him on four plantations. He had an unusually benevolent relationship with his slaves. They worked under a task system, which meant that once the daily work was done, they were free to take care of their own business, like tend in their gardens or go in fishing. Yeah, but they were still slaves. It's still evil. Okay, but anyway, Kingsley even married one of his slaves in an African ceremony, a union that produced three children. His wife, Anne Madgejean Jai, played a major part in the plantation's management and eventually became one of the wealthiest women in East Florida. When Florida became a U.S. territory in 1821, Kingsley became concerned with federal laws that placed harsh restrictions on slaves and discriminated against free persons of color. This prompted him in 1837 to move his family and slaves to Haiti where they established their own colony. The Kingsley Plantation House though, is still standing on 25 acres of the original property along with the ruins of several slave quarters in a half moon shaped row. The narrow unpaved road to the Kingsley House is scenic but a little bumpy <laughs> and at the, e the edge of dark, downright frightening. I've been there when it's dark out and it is quite creepy. This is the domain of old red eyes. If you go there, some say you can see him in your rear view mirror or hear the sounds of his victims in the woods along the road. Old red eyes is the wicked spirit of a slave who had R-worded and killed several of the plantation's female slaves. He was caught by the other slaves and hanged from an oak tree near the entrance to the plantation. Old Red Eyes is not the only haunting business at the Kingsley Plantation. These are stories, there are stories about a woman in a white dress seen on the porch of the main house. However, she shows up only in photographs. This ghost is said to be Zephaniah, Zephaniah Kingsley's African wife, Anna. In the yard of the house, you can hear the screams of a child coming from an old well. Allegedly, the child fell into the well and drowned. We saw that well today. We checked the well, but heard no screams, perhaps because it now has a heavy cover on it, which prevents ghost hunters from leaning over and falling in. The eeriest thing we witnessed were some twisted trees and vines hanging over the narrow road. Seeing them, one can easily understand how a ghost could be conjured up in these woods, especially if you're driving there at dusk. Um, ghostly peacocks at Kingsley Plantation. We were told about the ghost on the road to the Kingsley Plantation while on the ghost tour on Amelia Island. So on the way home, we drove down that road. It was just before sunset and the sun was filtering through the branches of the trees on the road. I was looking out in the woods when all of a sudden two totally white peacocks flew right across in front of the car. It scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. I have never seen white peacocks, only beautiful iridescent ones, but these were albinos. We looked to see where they went and could not see anything. Now I wonder if this has anything to do with the ghost stories about that place. No, they were just white peacocks. They exist out there. We saw a very colorful, beautiful peacock today, but none of the white ones. Summertime when the red eyes are glowing. I went there with a carload of friends and we all, all saw two red lights following us. It is real, but they say you can only see it in the summer months because that is when that man was hanged there. Baloney. Warning, red eyes and mirror may be closer than they appear. Let me read this part. I saw old red eyes several years ago. I have a friend that lives just off that road and had taken him home from Jacksonville one night. It was about midnight and after dropping him off, I was driving back down that road and looked in the side mirror of my car and saw two red lights. At first, I thought it was the taillights of another car, but they were too close together. I slowed down a little and watched them in the mirror and it looked like they were coming closer. I knew that I had not passed another car and it did not seem like a car would be coming down that dark road backwards. I stopped and stuck my head out the window and looked back and there was nothing there. Then I looked in the mirror again and then there they were. They were right behind my car. I gunned it and raced out of there. I would not have even <laughs> looked out that window. Um, captives, cry, captives cry from Old Red Eyes Woods. I think old red eye's name was Gauntlet Jack or something like that. Anyway, he caused a slave uprising and he was hanged from a tree on the road that goes to Kingsley Plantation. He can usually be seen after dark. Most of the people who see him are women and they only see his eyes following behind their car. In the woods, you can hear people screaming. They say that is the souls of all the people that Red Eyes is holding hostage. I've never seen them, but I have heard weird sounds like people crying coming out of the woods. I've heard of people who have seen Red Eyes too. Okay. I think it's baloney personally, but I just wanted to read that to you. Now, 
I read somewhere that um, like ghost hunters have tried to go out there. Um, I think um, not not Zach. What's his name? The ghost hunter guy, Zach. I can't remember his name, but you know who I'm talking about. Not him, but another, I guess, lesser ghost hunter show um, went out there and uh, the men stayed at the opening of the road and sent one of the women by herself to drive through it. And, you know, she had equipment and stuff and um, they have footage of it and stuff, but, you know, all that stuff is staged. I don't believe any of it, but, you know, I think, I, I believe that people believe they see it, but because I believe your mind plays tricks on you and that's what it is. But anyway, maybe we'll talk more about this weird Florida stuff. Cause a lot of these places I've been and I've checked out like this, where is it? Uh, the Greenbrier Light Road. Um, that's really close to where we live and I've been out there and now it's all built up around there and shopping centers and everything and it's just all lights. So, but we'll talk about that maybe one other episode or uh, other video. But anyway, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed spending Saturday with me. Um, I will talk to everybody later. Thank you so much. Bye.